What's going on, KB? I'm back with your letter of the day video. Okay, today we are looking at a very interesting letter, and that is the letter Q. Okay, we've got capital Q, we've got lowercase Q, we're going to learn all about it, and I have a lot to teach you about the letter Q. Okay, now we're going to talk about this Q sound. We're going to take a look at some words that start with Q, but I've got a few things to say about Q before we get going, okay? Now, the first thing I'll tell you is there are not a lot of words that start with the letter Q, okay? Q is the letter for words that we read in kindergarten that we'll probably see the least, okay? But I do have to teach you a special rule about Q that we'll practice later in this year as well. When we have a word that starts with a Q, okay, the sound you're going to hear is the sound qua. Let's practice making that sound first. Qua. Let's do it three times. Say qua, qua, qua. Now, I'm gonna show you a word right away that starts with Q and uh, teach you a little something about it. So this is the word queen, okay? Now, I'm going to underline a part of this word. Actually, I'm gonna circle it so you can see it better. I circled the Q and then I circled the letter U with it, okay? The rule that we need to start to, to learn about is the letter Q is only going to make the sound qua when it has a U right after it. The letter Q and U are like best friends, okay? They're kind of like bear and goose in our story that we read this week. They're kind of like best friends, okay? Q is only going to say qua when there is a U right after it. So um, the words that we see that start with the qua sound, you're always gonna see Q and you're always gonna see U, okay? Now, um, that's our next job, is to take a look at a list of words that start with this letter Q. So let's, let's do that now. Okay, here we see capital Q and lowercase Q. I will say too, you'll start to notice in different books we read or different things that we see that sometimes the lowercase Q is made a few different ways and that's okay. Here it kind of looks like a backwards P. Our first word is quack. Quack starts with qua, and you see Q, U at the beginning. Say quack. Here's quail. Quail starts with qua and Q, U. You're going to see the Q and the U with all of these words. Quarter starts with Q and the sound qua. Quarterback, like a quarterback in football. Starts with qua and q u. Quartz. Go ahead and say quartz. Here's our word I showed you on our whiteboard. Queen. Question mark. The word question starts with qua. Twill. Twilt starts with qua. And here we have a Q-tip where we see Q by itself saying its name, Q-tip. Quiver. Quiz. Here's all of our words that start with Q. Okay, let's practice saying them one more time. Please say that each word after me. Quack. Quail. Quarter. Quarterback, quartz, queen, question mark, quill, quilt, q-tip, quiver, and quiz. So besides the word q-tip, notice all the other words have q and then u with it. 
because Q and U work together to make the sound qua. Remember, we're not going to see Q at the beginning of a word saying qua by itself. It's going to be Q and its best buddy U with it. Your last job is to head to the big board with me and practice writing some capital and lowercase Qs. I'll see you there. Okay, it is time to do our cues. Okay, let me grab my marker. I'll be there in a second. All right, I got it. Now, um, capital Q, pretty much everyone makes the same way, so that'll be easy for us. So let's start there. When we make a capital Q, I want you to start by making a capital O. When you make a capital O, you pick up your pencil and then you go on the right side at the bottom and make a little line that go goes from the inside to the outside of the, the O shape to turn it into a Q. Watch me make one more. Make a shape that looks like an O, go to the inside, and make a little line that comes to the outside to finish the Q. I'll make one more for you. Round, inside, to outside. Okay. Now, lowercase q, if you were listening earlier in the video, I told you that lots of different people make cues lots of different ways, okay? I'm going to show you the way I will make a cue anytime I write one in our class in KB. And um, this is what my cues look like. I make a circle shape around, starting in the middle, and then just like P, J, and G, is going to go below the bottom line, and then I make a slant up to the right this way to finish my cue. Be careful, you can't make your slant this way or it's going to look like a G. So you don't want to do that. You want to go to the right to the outside. Okay? Watch me make another one. I come around, I'm going to go down below the line, and then I'm going to slant up this way. Does that make sense? Watch me make one more. Okay. Just like that. Now, when we see cues that other people might make, you might see a lowercase cue that looks like this, like it was in the video when we were looking at our word list, where it's kind of like a backwards P. You might also see one that looks like this, where it comes down and then it loops up instead of my sharp slanted line. Both of those are totally fine for you as well. So now you're ready to practice on your own. The letter Q is an interesting letter. Remember, there. this is what capital Q looks like. This is what lowercase Q looks like. Sometimes it might look like this or that, and that's okay. It's also very important to remember. The letter Q does not come at the beginning of a lot of words, and that's okay. Anytime our cue does come at the beginning of a word, it's going to have its best buddy, the letter U, right with it, to make the sound qua. Remember, Q and U are like best friends, and they work together to make the sound qua. Good luck with your cues.